Hello, my name is Bob Popovics and I'm going to tie you a bay anchovy with new Tough Fly Flex. Okay, bay anchovy, we're always going to start with a, a wrap of thread on the entire shank. Anytime where you're using epoxy or basically any kind of fly, I always like to give good um, footage for the material to adhere to rather than just the shank of the hook. And come all the way back. I'm going to use a little bit of body braid, a little silver braid. Again, this is going to actually be covered up at the end, but more importantly, it's going to provide a better grip to the materials and keep the fly as durable as I can possibly make it. Just wrap it neatly through the shank. Really not trying to create so much a uh, silver belly as it will be covered later. Just make it so that it makes it nice and level. No bumps. Okay. Tie that. Cover her up. Now the easiest thing for me to do, I'm going to do a bottom of white. I'll put a little silver flash in here and a little tan for the top. The easiest way for me to do that is just to invert this. And I'm using stuff called Isaboo. Something rather new, something I kind of like. I'm going to cut and measure how much I need. Prepare it. Lay it right in top. Okay, tie it in. Now this material is something I kind of like because as it gets older it seems like it gets a little bit better once you use it more. It gets a, loses a little bit of its newness and it kind of looks a little bit better later on. So. Now, clear on the bottom, we're going to take a little bit of silver flash through the center for the center line. And then that I'm going to use Angel Hair, which is a great product for that center line because in backlit situations it'll make for a black line, okay, because they're all linear, they're all lined up together. Let's tie that down. Bring a little bit more back. Okay. Now, the top. Again, this is a bay anchovy, so here I'll show you a little something that I do with bay anchovies versus tying uh, a silver side imitation. And a lot of guys know if you take a look at a silver side versus a bay anchovy, you're going to notice that it has the bay anchovy seems to have a pronounced snout on the top. So in order to achieve that, all I'll do is I'll just take this and I'll come in in reverse. Tie that down. Make sure I wrap all the way to the eye of the hook. Keep those fibers up on top. Okay, good. Come back here a little bit with the thread. Pull that back and just wrap over. That's going to provide a basics, or yeah, a basis. It's going to provide a basis for the snout when I get the um, gel on there. For that, the fly is actually tied. And we'll get ready now for the tough fly. Okay, so that's that. Take the tough fly flex. Comes in a syringe, and I use that syringe point to push all that material in through, go past the bend of the hook. Make sure that that gel penetrates. Turn it over. Do the same thing. Okay, as long as I know I got enough in here or on the fly that it penetrates all the fibers, I can kind of set the first shape. 
Very similar to what I used to do with epoxy, the same thing. One of the things I'll do is I'm going to ma manipulate these fibers here. Okay, and maybe distribute. Okay, that looks good enough for the first coat. It's equal on this side and this side. So what I'll do, if I okay it, I just want to come in now with the blue light. This is blue light, not UV, a very important difference. This is a much safer way. And then I'm going to set this, keeping the light very close, moving it very slow. I do the top. You can see it's set already. I'll do the bottom. I'll do each side. That way I'm very thorough with the amount of um, blue light rays penetration in there to set that material. Alright, what I want to do is now is get ready to put the eyes on. And I'll take my bodkin. One eye and I'll put that. Kind of high of center, well forward. I could probably use a little larger eye, but I really don't have that many available right now. So well, this one will work. Now, it's in pretty good shape, and I can readjust it once I put some gel over it if I, get, if I need it in a different spot. I don't come in with too much now, just enough to where I can get everything covered. Any kind of crevices that could have developed or hollows, I'll fill them in. Now we're good. This is before very close, very slow. All four sides. Now, it should be good. What happens? It'll leave a little tacky surface on there, as you might be able to see on the finger. All I have to do is just hit it with alcohol, and I put a paper towel down, and rub it off. It takes me just a couple of seconds to do that. Done. That dries almost instantly, and then I use top coat which is a very similar to hard as nails. You cover this up, you seal it. But the only thing I want to do now to this is I want to create a taper in, in this particular bait here. Okay, you can see it kind of step. If I create a taper, I don't want to make it look like I'm sticking the tail into a pencil sharpener and just do it out here. You gotta start actually back here. Step it up. Okay? Get a couple different various lengths of material there. Then I'll take do the same thing but a little further back from the top. Now I can come in with the scissors just slight. But the trick is to remember to get underneath. And you get pretty good little tapers there. Again, remember I told you that silver that we put on first really wasn't that necessary. Because I'm going to take, this being a Bay Anchovy, I'm going to take some white pearl um, nail polish after the top coat, very important. The top coat seals the fly from any kind of contaminants coming into the gel, may turn it orange or yellow. I'm just going to take this, generally what I'll do is I'll turn that around because I'm right handed and I have to a little bit better control going from my left to my right when I, when I do this and I'll paint the belly. Okay, and 
And that'll be the belly of the bay anchovy. It's more of a white pearl belly, and it's really not as silvery as like silver sides are. But sometimes it may take two or three coats to get a good uh, concentration of color there. But there is the bay anchovy tough lot. Thank you.